How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from Scale Model Car Guy channel. Coming to you today with uh, Christmas card shout outs and uh, Christmas present there, you know. Uh, you know, just a few little things. Uh, yeah, before we get started, thank you, my subscriber. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever make your world go around, guys. Subscribing is free. Free, 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 free. This channel never asks you for a dime to grow, and I don't need none of that stuff. Uh, we're just here to uh, support everybody in the community. And uh, everyone that I mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Uh, all these cards, anybody I mention in this video will be below. So please go over there, check every one of them out. If you ain't already subscribed to them, give them subscribe subscribe share like you know the deal support everybody in our community all right so let's just get this going and uh very first card i'm just doing this now i've already did a bunch of other uh christmas card shout outs and that's one of the other videos uh these are the ones i've got just like within this week and uh so let's get this going the first one i got right here very beautiful card love the old pickup truck that was from Douglas at Douglas Model Garage Videos. Y'all, he's, he's a, a very talented guy. He's a nice guy. He's always around the community, always in group builds. He participates. I mean, he's always there. Get over there and bump his subscriptions up. He could really use the help, guys. He's a super nice guy. Uh, get over there and check him out. I'm going to set this one over to the side. All right. Now, the next one. It's from Larry's Model Shop, from him and his wife Kathleen. Look at that. That's a beautiful, what is that, a 60, mm, late or early 60s uh, Cadillac there with the Christmas tree in the back. That's my kind of ride right there. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, okay, let's see. The next one we got here was old from old paul rogers you remember him uh i love his music uh great band oh no 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 wrong paul rogers i'm sorry sorry this is paul rogers from uh up there in michigan sorry about that uh <laughs> paul beth appreciate y'all this is styrene relics love you guys uh hopefully next year i'll start getting cards out you know this year's been kind of rough i haven't haven't even gotten none out and i'm sorry guys i appreciate it but i do appreciate the cards i got thank you for the kind words everybody all right now this one right here is from our old john everybody knows john and if you don't go subscribe to these guys mighty jjk he uh he does a little bit of everything i mean he mainly does the military you know the ships the planes and stuff but he does do cars here and there he just got done doing a a, a jeep and man it was nice uh get over there and subscribe to them thank you for the christmas card and the kind words thank you very much john all right now the next one now he don't have a youtube channel i guess you could subscribe to him i mean he comments but he don't put nothing out on the youtube channel but well, that's my buddy tony lancer from up there in michigan uh with all my michigan buddies up there you all know who you are appreciate you tony love you brother all right now this one right here and he also sent me a sticker too let's see if i can get this here see this right here yes ruckus rod and customs everybody knows william and if you don't please get over there and subscribe to him thank you for the kind words love that truck the barn scene absolutely gorgeous card look at the deer i mean it's just you can stare at that card all day long and thank you for the sticker always appreciate these stickers put that over on the desk there all right now this one right here the last card come all the way from england that's my mirror right there uh mr gavin booth uh old gavin tracy kind of reminds me of gavin stacy they know what i'm talking about it's a british show y'all won't know what it is but i do uh 
There you go, Mara. Thank you all too very much. Thank you so much. Uh, Gavin Booth, he does the the uh, the figure painting and uh, the Napoleonics, and he does ships and and tanks. Uh, but he's also been getting into the hot rods. Old Tom's got him into the hot rods, and he's uh he just got done building a a, a twenty nine Model A that uh, Tom had sent over, and uh, he's also got an appreciation build for Tom. He's fixing to do an appreciation build for me. We appreciate you very much, Mara. Love you. All right, guys, go check all these people out that I just mentioned. Go like, share, and subscribe. All right. Now, I also got a Christmas gift in, which I'll show it here in just a second, which because it's several of them. But uh, me and OJ from uh, Slow Ride Models, we did a little trade. I'll just show y'all real quick what, what I got. Y'all know I love to restore my old vintage kits. This is something he built when he was a kid. Now, all the parts aren't there. It's a, I'm going to say, 65 AMT Plymouth Barracuda. Missing a hood. The rest of the stuff I can come up with. Guys, if y'all got a hood for this, any of y'all out there, my email will be in the description. Hook me up. I can trade, buy, whatever you, whatever you want, but I need a hood for that. Let's set this one over to the side. And then, this one right here, this is a MPC 1968. I've got the little louvers for the hood right there. It's a very rare car. Uh, Jay built this as a kid. And uh, yeah, it's missing the engine and stuff. That, that stuff's not hard to come by. The main thing here uh, to find, well, it really isn't. Not really nothing. I mean, I can use 69 for the parts. Uh, so I got the, the main little louvers right here, the hood things right here. So, man, that's going to be an awesome one right there. I don't know whether to restore it back to stock or or build a pro stock out of it. But that's very nice, very nice. Let's move those over there. And then I got this one from him. This is the AMT Annual. It was the uh, 65... Dodge uh, Cornet player, I think Cornet. It would have been the Ram Chargers on the box. AMT. Now this one's all there. Except for the bumper. Which that's not going to be too hard to come up with. There's plenty of 65 players out there. Whether it's AMT or not. Uh, I can get a bumper for it. That's no big deal. But... I thought that was a pretty cool. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate you very much. Let me move these out of the way. And then, y'all could see by the thumbnail, there's a bunch of little stuff here. Uh, John, my buddy from England. Everybody knows John. JB Scale Creations. He used to be the Scale Reviver. Well, he sent me a Christmas present. He knows I love my small scale. He built. He sent me this uh, Ravel Cadet Series Ford Console Deluxe Zodiac. I think it's pretty much what it is. I got this one. Now I don't have this one. I do got this one because you remember he sent that one to me. I don't have that one yet. And I think on the box on this one was like from sixty something. I think. Uh, trying to see if there was a date on there. It's from the 60s. I'm sure. Well, I could have sworn there was a date on here, but I know it's from the 60s, guys. They sent me this one, and it's unbuilt. Matter of fact, if you want to see the inside of it, I can do uh, unboxings on stuff later on y'all want but there you go see it's all still unbuilt let's see and he also sent me this right here now this is a very very cool piece this is an old aurora this is a 1930 ford fire engine hot surfer this thing it's unbuilt uh it's missing a couple small pieces one tire is missing, and I think this light 
section right here was missing but that's no big deal i can come up with it in other kits but uh very very cool i love my small scale that was something he sent me and then he sent me this right here this is the original i got the uh i got the i got one built and then i got another one that's this box art but it's the newer box art the box is actually bigger uh and it was from the 90s reissue but this is the original issue from 1961. it's never been built right there 1961 if you can see that down there the box art's different too like on the uh, reissue the box art's the same here and on this side but on this side it don't have that it don't have to show the boat the uh the uh jet engine or the uh tank it shows the same thing on this side and then the box is way bigger so that's how you know which this is an original right there all right so he sent me that let's move those out of the way put them get them out of here get them out of my way here yeah i should be a little more uh organized guys but all right then he also sent me i mean like how many i got here let me count them first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen he sent me 15 of these little amt 143 scale model kits of course you know a lot of them they need to be restored and stuff but there's one there's 57 here's a 57th they cut the roof off of let's see here in a, is an original t-bird this is 67 t-bird now this one's missing a grill but i do have another one of these so i could probably resin cast the grill later on unless i find a grill but there's that one let's see here is the 67 or 68 fastback mustang uh the only thing wrong with this one is is the the front bumpers broke but uh very cool these are all good restorable cars i love my small scale thank you john this in here is the mach 1 69 that just needs to be painted up and now it's probably gonna have to be stripped they didn't even paint this part right here and i think it's brush painted but we'll throw that one over there and then i got two chevelles got this i'm oh, sorry about the this color but this one's missing the grill but the same thing i got two of them i can resin cast a grill for it let's throw that one right there here's the other one it's got the grill 69 it's got the rally wheels that in there just paint it up a little bit do some detailing on it hey good to go good to display this one right here is a very hard one to get this is a i'm gonna say 68 maybe 67 68 i don't know firebird very cool there's one not only one two this one here is in a little bit better shape you can see right there all oh, great candidates to be restored and shown uh, this one right here now this one right here i'm not doing nothing to it i polished it up even a little bit it's better than what it was i'm just going to put this straight in this display case there's nothing i need to do to that other than maybe paint underneath there if i want to but it's going straight into the display case all right let's see so i got that and then i got 60 i'm gonna say 69 torino there we go that one very good shape this in here it's another one i'm just polishing this one up you can see i got some polish on the tires right there 
This one here, I'm just going to put in display case too and just call it good. Let's see. And then a 69 Camaro. I'm just going to put it in the display case. Later on, I will probably do some restoring on this one too, but right now it's just going to go in the display case. It looks good enough for me to display. And then this is like one of my favorites right here. This one here is a 67 Camaro. Look at that. It's done up in a rally car. That is super sweet. This is getting displayed just the way it is. Put that one right there. And then we got this one right here. This is the Coot de Grass, as OBG would say. 67 GTO. And it's getting displayed just the way it is. Look, some, some kid painted that. Probably back in the 60s. That's the original issue. Matter of fact, I don't even think it's ever been reissued, guys. Look at that. Awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Doug, Larry, Paul, John, Tony, William, Gavin. Thank you all, guys. Uh, to all my subscribers, everybody out there, you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you. Love you guys. Please check everybody out in the description. Bye.